you know, he, you know, it's kind of like, you know, when you when you go away, it's it's you know, being a part of something like that, you know, is uh, very difficult. And like I said, I, that was the thing when he left here. I, I I really felt like that would be the hardest thing is not the physical part, but the psychological and mental part. Because when you live in a rural area, you're not exposed to those things. You're not exposed to that that type of um, training. I mean, it's it's a different mm -hmm. type of training. It's a mental training, and, and, and mental challenges are very tough. And and I think that that was the thing that I saw with him when he came back from Paris Island. Is is you know they whipped him into shape, you know, at the highest level. So, uh, but uh, those were those were all all fun things. Um, what does Dakota and your relationship with him mean to you? Well, well, our relationship, you know, it, it means a lot uh, because, you know, I've always tried to, whether in my role as, as assistant principal or, or football coaches, you know, I want them to understand we're a family. You know, uh, our football team is especially, uh, you know, family oriented. And once you're in the family, you're always in. And that's what we tell them, you know, it's kind of like being in the mafia. You know, once you're a dragon, you're always a dragon. And, uh, you know, whether it's they've graduated 10, 15, 20 years ago, you know, we still take phone calls and uh, we still talk to them. We want them to know that we still support them no matter the situation. And uh, so we've tried to, to build that relationship based on that and based on trust and, uh, you know, we sticking together. So uh, our relationship has always been very positive and, uh, you know, like I say, there's been those, those phone calls that I've gotten that I've not liked. There's been those phone calls that I've gotten that, you know, that, uh, you know, what do you think? Uh, you know, and, and you know, you know, you're being quizzed for that big question, and uh, you know, I don't like the relationship questions when he calls and you know, ask about a girl or something like that. I'd be like Dakota, you know, we're not gonna go there. So you know, that's uh, you know, I've told him that's 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 a huge thing for him. You know, right now he he has to, uh, you know, that's different. So uh, so we don't discuss that a lot, but uh, I try to give him as much information as I can. So, uh, but. Uh, those things, our relationship is, is really strong and positive and, uh, you know, uh, I know his dad, uh, you know, I, I try to stay in touch with his dad as much as possible as well and, uh, you know, I always know when I get that one phone call and he'll call at strange times, so I always know when the phone rings, I kind of, you know, you kind of have a sense if it's your kid calling or somebody calling, you know, I always know when Dakota's calling. So uh, that's the kind of relationship that we've built and uh, it's been built on, you know, trust between each other. What do you think the future holds for Dakota? Uh, I think that he has the capability to, to do whatever he wants to do. Uh, I said this, you know, uh, a couple of weeks ago when I, I was asked a very difficult question, of course, with the debt crisis and the economy and everything. You know, Fox News is here and asked me the question. I said, you know, it's time for those people to start looking at people like him. You know, uh, would you want some of those senators in the foxhole with you? I don't think he would. But you'd want a Dakota Meyer making decisions for you. I think that's the thing that I can see out of him is he has that type of capability. You know, he's not going to take a, a deal. You know, we're not playing Monty Hall make a deal show with Dakota. You know, if he tells you he's going to do something, he's going to do it. He's not going to compromise just because somebody else says we got to do it. He ain't going to do it. And I think that our country need more people like him in those leadership roles because. He's not going to compromise. He's not going to compromise.